that's two great finals from these teams. Sri Lanka and Hong Kong now are ready to come out here onto Nam Dong Stadium at Incheon as we wind the clock down to the final match of the weekend. It's going to be Hong Kong and Sri Lanka in a repeat of the leg one final. Max Woodward and Danushka Ranjan lead out their sides in front of this excited crowd who have just seen a great women's cup final a repeat performance from leg one and both these teams suffered defeats on day one and there's Sri Lanka well look out for Ranjan, Radawate, Dayan haven't seen much of him but uh, they've got power and pace everywhere Hong Kong, meantime, Woodward did a good try in the previous game of semi-final. Varty's had the experience, but McQueen, Meacham's been the player everyone's talking about, and they deserve their place in the final, defending champions, so to speak, from the Hong Kong leg. Sri Lanka had that one in the bag, if you recall. This is going to be a classic. Max Woodward with the heavily strapped thigh, the skipper under an injury cloud, but he's soldiering on, and underway we get, that's a fantastic kick out, and Meacham soars in the air and takes that beautifully up over the 10 metre line. Cover now, A to McQueen, Rimine, everyone gets an early touch. Woodward out to the veteran Vardy, who just coasts over the halfway line, gets bullied over towards, touched by Handa Pangoda, and it's been taken across the touch line. We have our first line out for the game, exciting start from Hong Kong. Discipline's going to be the key. When you get chances in the business end of the attack zone, you've got to take them. Nothing between the two teams. Quickly off the top and Ben Rimini now leads the surge forward. The Queen gets it across him and here comes Vardy, puts on some footwork. Meacham has been dynamite. Fanning across now, hands up out in front. Here's Lee Jones, he scored a lot of tries in this event. Here he goes again, the big man from Cambridge, New Zealand, opens the scoring. He's been huge over these two days for Hong Kong. And fittingly so, he gets the first five for Hong Kong. His sixth try of the series. And uh, the first points to Hong Kong. Remedy to one mistake, one missed tackle, and that's as quick as it happens in sevens. Here it is, through the hands, Jones. It was the number six, Damamapala, who had his man, and he just got away from him. Good, nice little fend by Jones as well, and brings it around to Valley teammates. Both been in Hong Kong seven or eight years now. Rimini and Jones, veterans of the side, part of the furniture, along with the McQueens and Varty. Lots of experience out there for Hong Kong. Meacham's a new boy on the town, new boy on the block. He's had a breakthrough season. Rimini's been on stupendous form in the series and through the 15s. Here they come again, Hong Kong. Can Sri Lanka stay with them? This time Meacham bobbles it off his nose. Well, to be fair, it's his first mistake this tournament, really. He's deserved his start in the seven again. Been impressive every time he's come on. Just took his eye off the ball. So Sri Lanka get their first real chance. And uh, some big boys need to hold the scrum steady. Just about three minutes in. Sri Lanka... First chance to see them with the ball now. Out to Ranjan. Always looking for something. They scored some seriously good tries against South Korea to sink them earlier today. Here comes Torinda Ratwate. Just giving it some time. Here goes Ranjan. Steps off the right. Defeats Rimini. Coming back at him is Vardy. He wasn't to be fooled. And Vardy gets up and wins the ball. Meacham takes on Handa Pangoda. Puts the brakes on. Waits for the reinforcements. 
It's covered out. He's been doing some good work. Lee Jones is on hand. And the big man goes in for number two. Johnny on the spot. And put that down to Rowan Vardy on defence. What great presence of mind did Vardy have at that tackle? There's no one on the short side. Picked it up. It's Jones's tenth. Two tries to him. Four minutes to go. Gareth Barber. Um, the halves not the usual duration. No, the seven see. minutes. So, clock is ticking. And uh, they've got a good start, Hong Kong. One missed tackle. Look at this. Meacham did the hard work. Came in. Covidale's there as well. And Dumbo Mapala trying to get his hands. It just spills out. Perhaps a little bit of a... In holding the shirt, but he appeals to the referee. He doesn't think there is, so that's a try. Superb technique from Coverdale there, just tying up the defender. And remember in Hong Kong, they got away early, but Sri Lanka came back at them with three successive tries to stay in it and keep it close until the end. And here's a let off for Hong Kong from the restart. Sri Lanka now going to have to soak up a little bit more pressure. And they're soaking up a lot at the moment. They haven't been out of their 22, really, or their half. Alex McQueen, that was slipped out of the hand from Rimini. Probably a bit of perspiration on the ball, but that's an error. That's going to, at a vital time, they're looking to hammer home the advantage. Towed through now. It's a foot race between Day and... Man, the ball's going to beat everybody. But again, Hong Kong maintaining the pressure. Keep that up, something's going to give. No matter how good this Sri, Sri Lankan team is, they aren't got to the cover in the end. We shall play the scrum for the, I think the drop ball maybe by Rimini. Well, it's a dominant display by Hong Kong so far, controlling all the aspects of the game with a bit of luck. That one's been towed forward. Well, it's sort of ricocheted. It went in and rick out and ricocheted out. Same tunnel, technically, I suppose. 22-17 was the score in the leg one final. Just five points in it. You can see, you can't see off camera, but the first receiver is straight behind the scrum. That's... Surya Bandara, one of the playmakers, here's Ranjan, takes on Meacham on the outside, ball in the wrong hand, Meacham comes at him and gets him over the touchline. Ranjan, maybe with the ball in the wrong hand there, but having a crack. And he'll be disappointed to have been taken over the touchline so easily. McQueen, that's crooked as a dog's hind leg, you won't be happy with that one. No. Perhaps could have been a bit more patient with that restart. It's given Sri Lanka a breather at the halftime who to goes and another scrum for them. And good defence by Hong Kong so far. They haven't let Sri Lanka play their usual fast game. They like to throw the ball around. Richard Dhammapala feeds the scrum and he gets a shove in the back from McQueen who lets him know he's there and he gets it back for Woodward. The skipper unleashes Vardy. Meets him now. Is he willing to take on the outside defender? He's pinning his ears back. Coming at him is Hannah Pangolda. Beautiful tackle to stop him just a metre short. And Meacham, him. You can't blame him for having a crack there after the hooter. But it's a penalty so we play on. There's no respite. Dunsha Dayan. I think Hannah Patagoda is down injured after that great tackle. So Sri Lanka with six as they try to put on some points. What's going on here? He's booted it forward to his own player who's offside and giving Hong Kong now a last chance. With only six players, surely Hong Kong will finish this off. Vardy, he has eyes only for that try line and he won't be stopped, Rowan Vardy. <laughs> Try number four for Hong Kong as they take a huge lead into half time.
Fifth try for the tournament. The experience of Rowan Vardy, cool customer. And what a gift, though, no, by it was a great tackle by Hannah Panagoda right in the corner to put Meacham down. But Remini gets the, the conversion. Look at this. He kicks it right back into his own man, you know, Gunaratne. He had to award the penalty. Great sense by McQueen. Taps quickly. Vardy's on the receiving end. Still had some work. Got through two good defenders that couldn't hold him. And right under the post, exactly where you want it. Right on half time. Good upper body strength from Vardy. There is the Asia Rugby 7 Series trophy for the career leg. What an exquisite specimen with those lovely pink and red ribbons. And for the purist, you might like to see Sri Lanka win here and take some sort of chance into their home event. If Hong Kong win here, they'll have a couple of points advantage. And that's Salia Handapangoda made that wonderful covering tackle on Ryan Meacham in the corner, but has nobbled himself in the process. Hopefully he'll be okay for the Colombo leg. And Very unfortunate. If Hong Kong take out this final as they are destined, they're on their way, they'll, Sri Lanka will need to hope that Hong Kong don't make the final in Sri Lanka and that they do somehow. It'll come down to points. But Hong Kong with three tries, two converted, 19-0. Skipper Woodward didn't look confident at breakfast this morning. Perhaps he was just fooling me. He was enjoying his toast. <laughs> he Gareth was relaxing. Gareth Baber has made some changes. Chris Mays is on for Coverdale. That's the only change at half time for Hong Kong. Fresh legs is important, and you've, if you've got a good bench, you're going to need them in the last couple of minutes and at the end of a tournament. Remini with the chip. Goes up nicely, brilliantly taken by Tarinda Ratwate. And now Sri Lanka must get back into this game and explode downfield. Scored three or four length of the field tries earlier against Sri Lanka. Uh, sorry, South Korea. We know they can do it, but this is a different defence. This Hong Kong defence. Ranjan forced to take it to ground. That's not what he usually likes to do. Here's some vibrancy coming in from... Fresh legs on the field. Pereira come on for Handa Pangoda. Pereira. Here's Ranjan out here now. Can he take on Lee Jones? Lee Jones shows him nothing. Nearly gets him into touch and surely they can get him over there and they do. It's a gang tackle. Barty and Jones. Let's have. turn over ball. Sri Lanka can't afford to do it. While you would think 19 points is a good buffer, in a game of sevens it's not. But when you get it, you've really got to control the game and work your way up the field and convert pressure into points. And good effort by Hong Kong. McQueen now looking for Mays at the back. Up he goes with that impressive facial furniture, the slug on the top lip. Rimini now there's a set move on to come back to the line out forwards who've got back behind the ball but McQueen gets collared by Ratwate. Comes back but it's ugly. Here goes the skipper now. Tries to get the arms free. Mazes back on the inside. Gets rid into the ground. Woodward's on hand. Now they give it some air. Here's Rimini. Can he put Meacham in space? No, he comes back in field looking for McQueen. Good tackle by Ranjan. Again, now we have a four on two coming back this way. May sizes it up. Woodward needs to put someone away, but he gets taken in a ball and all tackle by Dayan. Rowan Varty gives it to Meacham. He straightens, he steps. Can he reach out? Yes, he can. Try number four. And almost toying with the defence there, Hong Kong, side to side. And eventually, the man they call Meach goes in near the posts. Well, he looks injured. He's not. He's just having a breather. 
He's done a ton of work today and yesterday. He's seventh try in the series. And that is an important score for Hong Kong. Who have really controlled this game well. Barty, long ball. Meacham has a look on the outside. Three defenders. That's poor defending by the Sri Lanka, to be fair. Despite the cover defence around the ankles. Look at that. Two players. Reaches out. Bang. And can great place the ball in any direction. Great production work there with the little highlight. I think the Sri Lankans were drifting across because they had three men to mark and... Meacham judged it well. Look at that from Woodward. Bats it back inside to Vardy. Here comes Meacham again. Kadu Lee's on the field. <laughs> Meacham goes in to secure that one. Jones to Mays. Mays is going to go over in the corner for a second rapid try in the second half. Hong Kong are really hitting their straps now. Woodward on the far side. Put it down to him, winning that restart. And then some beautiful work. From Meacham, Kadu Lee and Mays. Mays does well as Remini's come off for a breather. And why not? He's played very well both legs of this series. McQueen lines it up. His brother, unfortunately, had an injury yesterday, so he's out of the tournament. Could be out for a while. But Sri Lanka just can't get their hands on the ball. And when they do, they cough it up. And Hong Kong has controlled the game on every occasion, just about. There is the Brad Pitt lookalike, self-claimed Brad Pitt lookalike from the movie Fury. Enjoying the limelight. It's one-way traffic so far for Hong Kong. Sri Lanka just haven't been able to get into this game. They've only had a couple of attempts with the ball in hand. Been snuffed out. Mark Wright this time goes up. Right, and Yukam Shinger on for Hong Kong. This time, a little knock on. Not bad replacements to have. An important aspect of this Hong Kong team is the depth that Gareth Faber has built up over the last couple of years. He can have that quality player come on in the last couple of minutes. There's only two left as they lead 31 0. Sri Lanka just haven't been in the game. Here they come though, Pereira swings it back the other way to Ranjan, he's had no space. Kavindu Pereira tests out Yu Kam Shing, sees if he can show on the sideline. He does, but he closes it. Ranjan. A couple of awkward passes there, but they go to hand and now they come blitzing down the sideline. Alex McQueen is struggling to stay in touch but he takes him down. He takes Ramanaka down and that's good work from Alex McQueen. They take it quickly. Relentless from Hong Kong. Fresh legs. Yu Kam Shing. He chips it through. But yeah. we've been taken back to the 10 metre mark where the assistant ref has his hand up. Let's have a look at the line out. So to speak, did he go out? The ball's dribbling. It does eventually. But he's saying it's off the mark, I think. Yep. Just looking down at the hand signal from referee Roccaverni from Fiji. That was a little bit off the mark. So technically correct. Yu Kam Shing thought he was under the post there. 31-0. Last 30 seconds. Hong Kong really taking an advantage into the third leg. Here goes Kadu Lee. McQueen bangs off the right, straightens up. He's got to look for support now. Kadu Lee's there. Can he get the little legs going? <laughs> Puts in the fend on Suri Bandara. And good work from Kadu Lee to finish that one off at the Huda. Emphatic by Hong Kong. One-way traffic. Well, Kato Lee, who has only really been on for four minutes, nice way for him to finish the tournament. And a great impact player for Coach Gareth Barber to use some fresh legs. And it's been a magnificent uh, effort by Hong Kong. They've controlled just about every aspect. They've shut Sri Lanka out. Look at this rap, McQueen. Bang. Again, two defenders not talking. Maybe they are a little bit tired, Sri Lanka. 
but good vision. Kano Lee backing up and Surabandara despite his...